Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video today we're checking out Jim Jeffries who's meant to be an Australian comedian. I haven't heard of him before but he's extremely popular. The video we're checking out is 19 million views and it's about gun control. So going into this video I know nothing about gun control in Australia. I'm just being honest with you guys. So this video is probably going to be very funny and I should learn something at the same time which is the best type of comedy in my opinion. So let's get right into it for today. Let's go my friends. Now, before I start saying this, I want to say this, right? I believe in your right as Americans to have guns. I'm not trying to stop you from having guns. All I'm saying is this is my personal belief on the opinion. My opinion on the... Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't like guns. <laughs> right? I'm going to say some things that are just facts, right? In Australia, we, we had guns, right? Right up until 1996. And in 1996, Australia had the biggest massacre on Earth. Still hasn't been beaten. And... <laughs> Now, I That's terrible. Uh, I don't really know anything about the 1996 massacre in Australia, but that's tragic. But at least they took action to prevent it happening in the future. After that, they banned the guns. Now, in the 10 years before Port Arthur, there was 10 massacres. Since the gun ban in 1996, there hasn't been a single massacre since. I don't know how or why this happened. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it was a coincidence, right? <laughs> now, please understand that I understand that Australia and America are two vastly different cultures with different people, right? I get it. In Australia, we had the biggest massacre on earth. The Australian government went, that's it. No more guns. And we all went, and we all went, yeah, right then. That seems fair enough. Really. <laughs> <laughs> now, in America, you have the Sandy Hook massacre where little tiny children died and you're government went, maybe we'll get rid of the big guns? <laughs> and 50% of you went, fuck you, don't take my guns! <laughs> that is a good response. That's a good react like parody of the reaction so of the here's, Americans. Here's where it gets confusing, right? Now, as I said, I'm all for your Second Amendment rights. I think you should be able to have guns. It's in your constitution. What I am not for is bullshit arguments and lies. There is one argument and one argument alone for having a gun, and this is the argument. Fuck off. I like guns. <laughs> it's not the best argument, but it's all you've got. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with saying, I, I like something, don't take it away from me, but don't give me this other bullshit. The main one is, I need it for protection. I need to protect me, I need to protect my family. Really? Is that why they're called assault rifles? Is it? <laughs> Never heard of these fucking protection rifles you speak of? <laughs> protection? What the fuck are you talking about? You, you have a gun in your house, they, you're 80% more likely to use that gun on yourself oh. than to shoot someone else. And people think, well, that'd never happen to me. You don't know that, because you know what? From time to time, we all get sad. <laughs> One day you're happy, then you're sad, and then, oh, oh it was... <laughs> Protection. I had a break-in in Manchester, England, where I was tied up, I had my head cut, they threatened to rape my girlfriend, they came through the window with a machete and a hammer, and Americans always go, well, imagine if you had a gun. And I'm like, all right. I'm so I don't know if that actually happened or if it's like a bit from the comedy special, but man, that's crazy if that did happen, and yeah. Manchester is not the most dangerous place, but yeah, you definitely need to be careful out of Manchester, if I'm being honest, but that could happen anywhere, but that's really bad. It's really bad. I was naked at the time. <laughs> I wasn't wearing my holster. <laughs> I wasn't staring at the window waiting for cunts with machetes to come through. Like, what world do you live in where you're constantly fucking ready? That's a good point. You have guns because you like guns. That's why you go to gun conventions. That's why you read gun magazines. None of you give a shit about the home security. None of you go to home security conventions. None of you read Padlock Monthly. None of you have a Facebook picture of you behind a secure door going, fucking yeah. <laughs> like you're going to be ready if someone comes into your house. You have it at all fucking time. By the way, most people who are breaking into your house just want your fucking TV. You think that people are coming to murder your family? How many fucking enemies do you have? 
Geez, you think a lot of yourself if you think everyone's coming to murder you. <laughs> See, if you have it readily available, it becomes unsafe. You have it in your bedside table, one of your kids picks it up, thinks it's a toy, shoots another one of your kids. Happens every fucking day. We will go, that would never happen in my house because I'm a responsible gun owner. I keep my guns locked in a safe. Then there's no fucking protection! Yeah, that's a good point. Someone comes into the house, you're like, wait there, fuckface. <laughs> oh, oh no. you've come to the wrong house here, buddy boy. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna fuck you up. Okay. Is it 32 to the left or 32 to the right? Your mother's birthday? Why the fuck would I know your fucking mother's birthday? Maybe if you didn't leave the window open because it's too hot in here, we wouldn't be getting fucking murdered, right? I find the NRA to be hard work. But the fact that they always think the answer is more guns. After Sandy Hook happened, the NRA said, and I quote, none of this would have happened if the teachers had guns. <laughs> See, I don't like that because the teachers, their job is to teach. They're not trained to use guns. They shouldn't be part of the job. You're there to educate the students. You shouldn't have to be an expert of firing guns, defending people from attackers. That shouldn't be their job. That's, that's my opinion on that. It would have happened if the teachers had guns. <laughs> I, I think they're forgetting what school was like. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone remember that casual teacher that used to, whenever she came on to school, that relief teacher came, you and your friends would see her and go, oh, we're going to make her cry. <laughs> That's like a universal figure to every country. So he's like... She'd stand in front of the class with a bit of chalk and her hands would be shaking. And you'd go, you're never getting married, are you, miss? It's oh. never going to happen for you. Then she'd get back to a 1967 Volkswagen Beetle, she'd be crying over the steering wheel, just, why don't they like me? Let's give that cut a gun and see how things work out. <laughs> and then they go, oh, well, answer to that, we'll just add more guns. They go, we'll put an armed security guard at every school across America. Yeah, that'll work out. The average security guard in America earns $16 an hour. Not a lot of wiggle room to be a fucking hero. Yeah. <laughs> Someone comes onto the school and... <laughs> and you've got Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure Kevin's shit hot at Call of Duty, but it might not fucking cut it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I understand that when I'm doing this joke in this room, 50% of you agree with me, 50% of you don't agree with me. And I do respect the people who don't agree with me. Don't think I don't. Out uh, of the 50% that don't agree with me, 20% of those people are smart enough to realize this is a comedy show and it's not to be taken seriously, and they're laughing along because it's just funny jokes, right? Yeah. And then the next 20% are sort of phased out a little bit and looking around going, I wonder how they got that chandelier up there. Well, they're great. <laughs> and then there's the last 10%, and they're fucking furious. <laughs> right now, in this room, and the people watching at home, 10% of you are fucking seething. Just... <laughs> and for a couple of reasons. First reason, I'm making good points. Yep. Yep, he is. Okay, so that was part one, guys. I'm going to do part two after this. So if you guys want to react to part two, I'm going to put the annotation somewhere on screen. So click that. But it makes a lot of good points about gun control in the United States. I've always going to be about Australia, but it appears they banned guns after the 1996 massacre. My thoughts and prayers go out to the victims. I'm not really familiar on the topic, but that's obviously a tragic event. But it looks like they took action and banned guns. I believe something similar happened in the United Kingdom. There was obviously a shooting, a mass shooting, where people died sadly. And then back, guns were banned, which I feel was kind of the right way to act. But the Americans, they have these mass shootings on the daily end. They never seem to ban guns because of their constitution. So it definitely makes a lot of good points, especially about the safety, because if your gun's in a safe, how are you going to get an intruder? You'd be like, oh, wait there, intruder, while I get my gun. And if it's out on you, 
it's obviously very dangerous. Your kids could take it. You could accidentally fire off. There's a lot of a lot of things that are going to happen with a gun, though. Yeah, it's not something to be taken lightly. So if you guys want reaction to part two, drop a like on the video and I'll upload it straight after this, pretty much. So if you guys want more reaction videos like this, drop a like on the video and give me some Jim Jeffries videos I should check out. See you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.